I have something else that'll mes mesmerize you by. Yes. We have not only like our forecast is seasonal, extreme heat for the midsections of the country, and a hurricane in oh. the Pacific. Let's get right to it, right? Temperatures out the door are fairly mild. When you take a look outside on our SDCCU.com tower cam, we are noticing the golden, golden sunshine from North Park, and this sunshine is keeping our temperatures right where they should be for us this summer, which puts us right around 74 degrees into Oceanside, currently into San Diego, about 71. We're further inland into Palomar about 72 and Mira Mesa you're at around 77 degrees now like I said these values are fairly seasonal for us but look at how many other spots of the nation are a lot toastier take out over toward uh, South Dakota they're in the 80s already in Oklahoma City into the 90s the same as Texas even into Florida the lower 90s the 80s out over toward Washington DC with this a good chunk from Texas all the way out over toward it looks like Min Missouri is dealing with heat advisories that's where we have that area shaded in orange noticing that heat advisory stays with them all the way until about 8 o'clock into the evening on Wednesday where Dallas will feel like 105 to 108 degrees. Kansas City will feel like 107 to 110. The same scenario goes for Miami feeling like 110 degrees. So we'll take our little seven days, I guess, any day of the week. One quick note though to mention for you, out over toward Minnesota where there's a tornado watch there, that area shaded in yellow tonight until around 9 o'clock and the Storm Prediction Center is ranking this a risk level of 4 out of 5 for severe weather to begin to pop up uh, for southern Minnesota. So keep your eyes posted there if you have any relatives or friends. Just call to make sure they're okay. Out into the Pacific we go. This one about a thousand miles away from Baja. We have Hurricane Blast. This one, a Category 3 storm. It is the first major hurricane this season for the Pacific Ocean. And notice that it's continuing to be in the forecast to strengthen to a Category 4 by later on tonight and then start to weaken. Not going to affect land, but for the boaters out there, it might affect you and it's also going to potentially affect our waves by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. Seven-day forecast for you, though. We don't have extreme heat, and we don't have hurricanes coming our way. We have 74 degrees on your Wednesday. Typically for us, we're right around that value. So staying there, the only thing changing are those cloud coverage. I think those clouds are a little bit thicker on Wednesday, but decreasing Thursday. Inland areas, 81 degrees, seeing more sunshine as you get a little bit closer to the weekend. Mountain community, 77 degrees. You rise into the lower 80s by Thursday. The desert's 106. Not much change for you, but the hottest day coming on Saturday at 108 with your wind picking up. Let's look at your seven-day forecast. Netta, over to you. Because everyone's on it. Uh, I was going to say, see, it's still stuck <laughs> with the younger people. The older, crowd, <laughs> the older crowd here hasn't quite gotten into it yet, maybe. Uh, okay, what we are into, though, is your forecast. Starting you with a live look at our SDCCU.com tower cam. We are noticing that some clouds are, in fact, moving through. A good chunk of the coast is under cloudy conditions. The one uh, spot I have not seen that being reported is out over toward Camp Pendleton. Nonetheless, though, we are going to see those clouds break away, allowing for pretty much a seasonal day on tap to unfold for us tomorrow. Coastal clouds with us until around 11 a.m. Some models are now thinking it could clear as early as around 9.30 to 10 o'clock. So most of that happening in North County and working its way down to the south. Temperatures in the afternoon fairly similar to what we experienced today. By the time we get to Sunday, there's a little storm system that's only going to go through central California, but it could increase our cloud coverage as well as our wind speeds. But pretty much that's about it. Temperatures are going to stay seasonal for about the next week. Currently, we're looking at around 66 into Del Mar. Good evening to you in Lakeside, 66 as well in Chula Vista. You're sitting up to about 67. Notice the jet stream, how pretty much we're not seeing this big dip in it. We're not seeing this warm ridge. It's pretty much just going zonal flow. That means it's fairly flat, keeping our temperatures fairly seasonal. Usually we're right around the lower 70s for the coast. Inland areas closer on into the lower 80s and that's in fact exactly where you'll be for tomorrow. There is a storm system though heading out over toward the Pacific, and that one is where our eyes are really focused on. This, Hurricane Blast, now a Category 4 hurricane. This is the strongest hurricane thus far this season in the Pacific Ocean. One thing to mo mention, the Pacific is also forecasting all these models to stay in the ocean, not really impact any parts of land. It is going to, maybe if you have cruise plans, might not be so great there. We're still watching to see if some of those swells will reach our coastline by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. Back here at home, though, temperatures tonight under those clouds skies are going to be a tad warmer than normal. So typically we're right around 64 in San Diego and check that out. We're looking at about 65. Same number for you on into Kearney Mesa, El Cajon. You're also usually around in the lower 60s and instead going for the mid 60s up to 64 degrees under those overcast conditions. Valley Center heading out tomorrow morning around 62 degrees. These cool temperatures happen right around sunrise, which is at about five in the morning. Out in Ramon into the upper 50s. Same scenario for you into Palomar about 59. Mount Laguna waking up at around 61 degrees. By the afternoon, we're able to ditch those clouds and look what happens. Temperatures?
they warm up just like they were today. 74 into National City. Not too toasty for you in La Jolla if you're checking out the steels there. Only about 72 degrees. Further up the coast, San Marcos around 78. Oceanside only 71. But obviously the further inland you go, if you are east of the 15, you are into the lower 80s. Gorgeous sunshine out as well. In the mountains, there will be a little bit of wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour. That's going to drop your temperatures about 3 degrees, so not a tremendous amount. You'll go to about the upper 70s in the deserts. Still steamy on into the triple digits. If you are headed to the waters, doing a little bit of surfing, port of fair conditions for you, but your water temperature also looking fairly nice. The lower 70s for you with needle, waist high sets, high tide coming in at around noon. 70 forecast, look at these numbers. They don't nudge much, right? 74 degrees for you on your Wednesday. I think those clouds will clear out a little bit earlier on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. That storm system that will arrive into central California on Sunday increases the clouds ever so slightly as well as the wind. Inland areas, 81 degrees for your Wednesday. You'll see a small uptick in your temperature on Friday to 84. Mountain community, 77, warming on up into the lower 80s by Thursday and Friday. The desert community is 106. Your winds are going to be on the high side, around 15 to 25 miles per hour. That's a look at your seven-day forecast, guys. Over to you. Sabrina, thanks.